Thanks for joining me. My name is Samit. I would like to show you how we designed a set of visual cards with the NoWest Media Center and people from diverse ethnic backgrounds. The visual cards illustrate a holistic mental health concept to support researchers and participants in understanding and sharing mental health experiences. Let me show you a set of visual cards. You can see that the visual cards are composed of different parts. A description, an illustration and open-ended questions to foster mental health conversations. The first pair of the visual cards intends to acknowledge cultural differences. It says, mental health is something we all have. People from all over the world think and talk about their mental health in many ways. To understand people's mental health views, we can ask, what thoughts come to mind when you hear the term mental health? Let's have a look at another example. This pair covers coping strategies. The description explains, being able to cope with emotions can be helpful. For example, realizing that you had a stressful day and deciding to go for a walk. To better understand how people cope with their emotional well-being, we could ask, what do you do when you've had a tough day? Interested in the design of inclusive mental health technologies, we designed the following pair of cards. The description of the technology-related card is There are many different types of technology, such as laptops, smartphones and tablets. Technology can affect our mental health. Potential questions are What are your favorite technologies? Are there any technologies that you avoid? Next, I will talk about our design objectives and design reflections. Our objective was to gain a detailed understanding of the mental health needs of local minority ethnic community organizations and their members. Our intention was to support transparent and meaningful research experiences based on a shared understanding of what mental health entails. The design of the visual cards intends to support both researchers and participants in identifying mental health and technology needs. We applied a human-centered approach and involved 11 participants with diverse ethnic backgrounds, such as African and Asian. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we used Microsoft Sway and Microsoft Forms to present the visual cards and conducted phone interviews to receive feedback. Interview questions covered participants' perceptions of the visual cards and suggestions for improvement. For example, P2 explained that the text of the visual cards could be easily translated based on their prior work experience as an interpreter. Based on a holistic definition of mental health, we develop six themes. These themes inform the design of the visual cards, including the illustrations and open-ended questions. For example, we described the theme called environment in the following way. The world around us may influence our emotions, our family, friends and work, as well as food, the weather and illness. Next, I would like to share with you our design reflections. Here you can see how we transitioned towards a more realistic visual style since participants faced challenges to recognize cultural diversity in our initial abstract illustrations. We wanted to find a visual language that is respectful and non-judgmental. For example, we found it helpful to look at photos of real people 
to become aware of our preconceptions. We designed this series of illustrations to support reflections on coping strategies. For example, feedback suggested that the teacup and saucer can be perceived as a strong reference to the British tea culture. The second iteration is refined, showing a woman holding a mug in her hands. The actor might have a hot drink, such as tea, coffee, chocolate or milk. In the third illustration, the lady is wearing a head covering. Feedback suggested that the identity of the woman was unclear. Participants associated South Asian and Slavic cultures and lower social statuses with this illustration. We excluded this series of illustration as its ambiguity seemed to support stereotypical thinking. The design of the visual cards fostered discussion about the role of our gender and ethnic background as designers. For example, the transition away from a woman with straight hair documents our tendency to draw images that might be interpreted as of white women. We designed a set of visual cards that aim to support both researchers and participants in sharing and understanding mental health experiences. We felt that the iterative design process of the visual cards helped us to gain cultural awareness and cultural competence. We gradually gained confidence in depicting diverse visual cultures through sharing design concepts and receiving feedback from people from diverse ethnic backgrounds. However, it has become clear that our understanding of diverse ethnic culture was subjective and limited. Gaining cultural sensitivity and competence is an ongoing and participatory learning process that needs to go beyond a research project. We believe that participatory design approaches could be suitable to design support systems for conducting culturally sensitive research and informing the design of inclusive technologies in partnership with the local minority ethnic community organization and its members. Future work could identify the perceived benefits and limitations of the visual cards in different mental health research settings. Potential use cases include the design of mental health technologies and research methods, such as interview studies and design workshops, where researchers and participants could draw on the visual cards to support conversations about mental health views and experiences.